North Charleston City Council meeting for just the second time this year since the inauguration of several new city council members and a new mayor. But these city council meetings may have residents stopping for a double, even a triple take. Live 5's Justin Kohler explains why North Charleston's new council may have some of you confused. Have you ever met someone with your same first name? How about your same last name and job title? Well, with three Michael Browns all on the same North Charleston City Council, things could get confusing. Everyone comes up. So, you're, I know you're not Michael Brown, but you gotta be his son. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Michael Brown Jr. of District 7 is no relation to Michael Brown of District 10, but Michael Brown Jr. is the son of District 1's Mike A. Brown. Michael Antonio Brown. Senior and junior. Confused yet? <laughs> we have a running joke. We call him the triple OG. They call me the OG and they call him the new G. So, so hopefully, you know, we'll be able to navigate our way through it. They say three's a crowd, but on this council, these three G's are better than one. We're technically three different generations because he's maybe 20 years older than I am. So we all represent different perspectives. Um, Mike has a fresh perspective, very uh, energetic, innovative ideas that are relevant to his age group, which I'm kind of, I consider myself the bridge between, you know, because we have people that span from maybe 60s to now 20. 26 years old, I think we would be, you know, it's going to be a great uh, combination. And what combo could be better than father and son? So as he's bridging that gap, he's bridging the gap between us. I'm bridging the gap between my generation and theirs. A journey they've taken together. It's a beautiful journey. I mean, the, the idea of it is, is something you can only dream of. And that dream just shows in North Charleston. Good things come in threes. I believe that's why I ran. I feel I feel like my motto was to bridge the gap. In North Charleston, Justin Kolar, Live 5 News.